The nominations for the 2023 edition of the Crunchyroll Anime Awards finally got announced. And I would like to share who I'm going to be voting for, but with a twist. I'm going to share who I'm actually going to vote for, as well as an off-the-board pick. And it's not limited to what Crunchyroll deems eligible to be nominated this year. If you want to know more about the rules of eligibility, check out my previous video. Link in the description below. So, let's get started. For best supporting character, my off-the-board pick is Takina from Licorice Recoil. I simply love characters that start off cold in the beginning but become more emotional towards the end. And Takina embodies that. The supporting character that I'm going to vote for in the awards is Tengen from Demon Slayer. The Entertainment District arc is my favorite arc in both the anime and the manga and that's thanks to Tengen. He provides a different dynamic in the show and your eyes are glued whenever he appears on screen. But that is to be expected of the god of flashiness. For best main character, my off the board pick is Kaguya from Kaguya-sama Love is War. Kaguya continues to build on the character and provides so much entertainment for me. Kaguya continues to provide the laughs as well as continue to grow as a character. My vote for best main character is going to David from Cyberpunk Edge Runners. David is the embodiment about how tragic the world of Edge Runners is. Some person that seems so happy-go-lucky can fall so deep down in the world of Edge Runners and even lose who they are as a person. At the end of the day, David still remembers who the person he was in his last moments. For best continuing series, my afterboard pick is going to Mob Psycho 100. Season 3 of Mob Psycho hits everything right for me and provides a satisfying conclusion for the series. And it would be close to being my anime of the year if it was not for one series. My vote for best continuing series is going to go to Kaguya Summer Love is War Ultra Romantic. I'm going to hold back on talking about Kaguya Summer for a later point. For best new series, my afterboard pick is going to be Cheating. And it's a tie between Aoishi and Blue Lock. They are both fantastic circus series that provide completely different things. Aoishi takes a more realistic approach to the sport. Meanwhile, Blue Lock takes everything to the extreme. I love them both for it. If you're a fan of soccer, watch both of these. And if you don't like one of them, watch the other. You're probably going to like it. My vote for best new series is your boy Koi Ming. I'm a person that likes music, and your boy Koi Ming provides that. I like unique concepts, your boy Koi Ming provides that. With a historical figure becoming a manager for a singer. For best animation, my afterboard pick is going to Bleach the Thousand Year Blood War. If you told me that Studio Pera could animate a show this well on a week to week basis, I would call you a liar. The animation style of Thousand Year Blood War is far different from the original. The fight scenes are a 10 out of 10. Even the more calm or quieter moments are fantastically animated. Even the slapstick is animated better. It's just so goddamn beautiful to watch. My vote for best animation is going to go to Cyberpunk Edge Runners. Studio Trigger continues to do what they do best animate stuff fantastically. And it's also fantastic that they get to do more gore, because the gore in this show looks goddamn beautiful. For anime of the year, my off the board pick is a two for one. One sequel and one non-sequel. For a non-sequel, it's going to your boy Koi Ming. One of my favorite new anime of the year. And I would argue is a good reason to try out High Dive to watch it. And my sequel is going to be Kaguya Summer Love is War. Season three of Kaguya is my anime of the year and it's not even close. Everything about the series is a 10 out of 10 for me. My vote for anime deer is going to go to Attack on Titan. It's just more Attack on Titan where to get to some of the best parts of the show. From everything with the paths, everything with God Amir, from the rumbling activated, to the fall of the rumbling happening, to all the characters meeting up, and finally seeing the rumbling reach landfall. This is some peak Attack on Titan. It's just so goddamn good. That's everything I want to talk about in this video. Everything else, I'm just going to have on the side because I could not think of things to say. Those are my votes for the Crunchyroll Anime Awards.